and we are live from the MIT Media Lab and also from the sunny state of California um, where um, um, Daniel and I uh, co-chairs for the upcoming W3C blockchain workshop <clears throat> helping um, uh, Doug and, and others out um, to organize it are um, going to just give a, some announcements and quick updates on um, how it's coming together and um, and then we'll let you know a little bit more about how you can participate so um, Daniel um, can you bring us up to speed yeah absolutely so you know we had a call last week uh, basically laid out the format that we want to see uh, in the workshop and then in addition to that we talked about the invites going out um, that was something that occurred it's been happening over the last week we've got you know a ton of responses um, and you know I think we're going to have a, a packed house. Um, the next item of business that we want to do is finalize the topics that we're going to discuss at the, the workshop. And those will be based on the review feedback that we gathered this last week um, via the form uh, that was put together to gather the feedback. Um, so that's something we'll be discussing on tomorrow's call. Um, and that happens at 11 p.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and you can go ahead and jump on there, and we'll, we'll talk about you know what topics are really going to get finalized and locked in, and then have a brief period of discussion about event logistics related to the open items we have. So yeah, if you want to find out more about those items, come on, come on down in the meeting tomorrow at 11 p.m. or 11 a.m. Gosh, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> I put that in the email. So I gotta... <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I thought you were going like, party at Daniel's house, I guess. Um, and look, hey, we're joined by uh, another of our co-chairs, um, Niha. Hi, uh, would you like to just introduce yourself? Uh, sure. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Neha, one of the co-chairs. Uh, sorry, I'm late, and um, happy to be here for the hangout. <laughs> Thanks, Neha. Um, yep, so uh, Dan just um, gave a quick um, download on current status, and one thing I, I might clarify is um, the invitation to jump on the call is really primarily directed, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, to the members of the program committee um, who um, who would be on that call. Is that right? Okay, so for all of you who are watching who are interested and you're not on the program committee, um, another thing that um, we can invite you to do is um, we also want to hear from you. And I know there's an, getting a lot of emails lately from New York in particular, uh, folks that are not going to be um, joining us in person, um, but who are following along. Um, if you'd like to contribute and um, and make your opinions known, um, go ahead and um, um, sign up for online participation at law.mit.edu forward slash blockchain. And there's a form there at the end of at the bottom of the page where <clears throat> so long as you agree to um, make your contributions under Creative Commons so we can actually share them and use them. Um, that um, it kind of volunteered here at the Media Lab as one of the hosts to to go ahead and um, and monitor those forms and um, help to um, you know make that happen so we can um, we can have some communication for everybody that's not on the program committee um, and who will miss our scintillating call tomorrow. Um, and so, having said that, can I ask, do, do either of you have a preliminary sense, having looked at the feedback, of you know, what we might expect um, by way of, is there any clustering that you've noticed, or any, um, is anything, you know, seem to fall into shape uh, yet by way of um, issues or options? We need to wait till, uh, to talk that through tomorrow. I'm going to let Daniel take this one. Oh, I was going to say the same thing. It's so rotten. <laughs> no uh, problem. I, I reviewed quite a few of them. Uh, I, I did not look for patterns in the, in the return results yet. Uh, I figured that we'd be doing that tomorrow. So. Ditto. I haven't, I haven't looked either. So, so we will probably have a lot more to say um, <laughs> next week. Um, let's see. Is there anything else on logistics? Um, I can't think of anything. You know, well, just anything. I think you know, Doug might talk through some. I, I hope it. I hope tomorrow, Doug talks through some of the things that you know are the more menial things that people want to know as they head out. Because um, obviously, you know, there's there's more granular stuff than is just on the the you know time based agenda. So I'm sure we'll get a, a little bit of detail as we get closer. Mm. Um. Very good. Um. So I don't want to um you know belabor uh this. It's really just intended for um 
mostly broadcast um, out updates and announcements, and I think we've more or less done that. Um, anything else do you think we need to add at this point? Um, I was just going to say for a little more content, maybe um, each of us could kind of share, um, you know, sort of the the thing that we're most excited about for the workshop. That might be fun, uh, just to kind of build a little interest. So I, I'm almost positive by suggesting it that's an implied volunteer to go first, okay, right? Yeah, I didn't think about that, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, well, I, I, I guess I can say I'm really excited about the group of people that we're going to have in the room. Um, and I wish it could be even more, but I'm really happy there's going to be a lot of people joining us virtually. Um, and I think, um, you know, the people there are going to represent a large variety of different industries, people who've been thinking about this space for a long time, and even if it's the case that we don't really necessarily come up with um, groundbreaking ideas around standardization, I'm sure that this as an opportunity is going to be a really good one to come together and to talk about talk about this in the W3C context. Here, here. Well, I'd like to go a second. Um, and so following up on that, um, I was telling somebody um, last night um, when I was kind of getting these little participation forms ready, and I'm wondering, what are you doing here so late? Um, about the, the workshop and what I found myself saying um, at some length and kind of excitedly was it seemed to me that number one, we do have a, a reasonable opportunity, I think, to uncover some candidate that may be right for standardization for the W3C and that is the explicit purpose. But what I was talking about mostly wasn't that. It was the all the opportunities when all these people are together looking from our various vantage points at um, where the value is for interoperability, where the value is for common approaches, and starting to, and all the conversations and the side dialogues and the relationships that are built from those shared perspectives. <clears throat> I was saying I feel it's very um, likely, and I, I predict that there will be a great many innovations that occur just as a result of the dialogue about what could be standardized, leaving a Aside um, the um, the explicit result of the you know standards, um, which uh, you know I'm also bullish about. So I'm looking forward to see all the um, all the new partnerships and uh, basically all the new kind of creative um, endeavors that grow out of the dialogue itself, and uh, probably some new friendships too, because people are they come are definitely into the same stuff. What do you think, Daniel? Oh uh, well, I mean you know my my greatest area of interest is in in identity, and I wouldn't say that it's because. You know, I'm super interested in cute ways people can log in. I think it's actually a layer that will enable lots of other interesting things. And uh, so, you know, I, I'm obviously selfishly um, interested in uh, having discussions with people during social times and breakout sessions about our ideas to vet them and see if they make sense and, you know, hear feedback. And, you know, one of the things I'm trying to do in preparation of the event to get going is uh, create this browser extension that runs on the, the standard web extensions APIs uh, across all browsers that currently support them um, that will let you, at least from our concept of what a blockchain identity could, could be, would let you then resolve those identities in the browser. Um, and that would be interesting to be able to see, you know, essentially a, a profile view, a LinkedIn profile view, if you will, um, that is driven by a decentralized identity um, or a web page or whatever is on the other end of these decentralized identities. I think that would be kind of cool. So I'm going to try and have that done, have people be able to look at it, but we'll see. Those are the sorts of things, though, that I'm interested in. So. Here, here. You know, we, ac we actually held um, twice in the room where we'll be meeting a huge national meeting um, for, called for NSTIC, National Strategy for Trusted Identities in Cyberspace. Big old multi-stakeholder thing that the uh, administration got started, but it's private sector um, led at this point. And um, you know, the, the, all the hallways and elevators and uh, you know, like uh, soda fountains were buzzing with identity talk. Uh, so, but you know, it happened. I can say we've tested it in, to to some extent at the media lab, and it seems to be a fertile, um, you know, um, ground for um, for great identity um, dialogue and also for some some invention. So I hope you you have a, you're able to bring the um, <clears throat> that. Um, that hack <laughs> together, but if you can't, you know, for goodness sakes, like, um, won't you make it available for some of the grad students and people around here? Maybe we can lend a hand and while you're on the plane and you know, help you polish it oh, off yeah. before you land. I'll have it on GitHub. I should have like at least the scaffolding of it up by the end of the week on GitHub, like tomorrow afternoon or something. So, um, 
Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll shoot it over to the group. Maybe I'll put it on the like normal blockchain list or whatever. Outstanding. All right then. Um, so, so okay. Then we'll have more to announce, I suppose, um, after you know the program can be get together tomorrow. Um, anything else we ought to cover before um, signing off? No. Great. Well, thanks for um for bringing that um, you know, the opportunity to talk about what we're excited about, uh, Neha, and uh, I look forward to seeing both of you and everybody else here at the Media Lab very soon now. So till then, we'll see you online. Bye. Great. Okay, then.